Hello everyone, it's Briar Sport and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming an updated collection to a video for 2022. So my collection has changed a little bit. Um, I've got, since my last collection tour, a new set of shelves in the spare room. So this should be a fairly exciting video for you all to watch. Having said that, up here hasn't changed at all. So we've got Phantasma, the 2005 Halloween horse. We've got the original Smarty Jones, Frankel, Secretariat, who was a childhood grail of mine. We've got the uh, Palomino Dark Horse Surprise and the Appaloosa Dark Horse Surprise, both of those from Briarfest 2018. And then we have the limited edition Santiago Polo Pony. And then the next row is my Smart Chicolinas. So we have here Top Sales Rainmaker. We've got Latigo Done It. And then we have Big Checks to Cash, who was another childhood grill that I had. The next shelf isn't model horse related, but they're on these shelves anyway, so I'm going to show you them. So here I have my Frozen Funko Pops, Lilo and Stitch and Moana as if you don't know already from my Instagram I am a big Disney fan. Then next we are back to model horses which is what you're all here for so here we have Baloo and the best of British Connemara both of those are on the newsworthy mold really really cute pony mold I really do love them and across here we have Peshmal who was from Briarfest 2021 he was a special run and then we have my 70th anniversary indian pony who is the matte version i'd love to have the glossy someday and just at the back there we have my inbox american pharaoh stable mate and a couple of little um stable mate bags there one of them's for orkney the other one is um chalice and then i have two pins so we've got flexible and then we've got the secretariat as well and then here we have another one of my favourite moulds. I'd really love to get a few more on this mould. So we've got my 2020 Appaloosa Surprise Horse. Her name's Atta Holland. You've probably seen her in a lot of my photo show placing videos. She does quite well for me. And then Gigi Valentine, who I am looking at getting into some performance because she doesn't do too well in her breed classes. I think just because she's so basic so i'm going to look at getting her into some performance classes very soon then for my next set of shelves we'll start at the top here we've got some Briarfest magnets from 2021 i have my regular run catch me who is beautiful then we've got Lionel. this is danny who was my favorite favorite horse from Briarfest last year i love her so much and then i have true north and Ichabod Crane. I'm really loving my True North Conga at the minute. This is all that I can afford on them for now, but those are what we have. And then down a level, you can see that this Lonesome Glory Conga has changed quite a bit since last time. So we've got Red Room, we've got the 2020 Collector Club Sassy, and I have the Chestnut Avero Kel Surprise, from Briarfest 2015 and I've wanted one of the Kel Surprise models for so long and I never really thought that I'd be able to find them for sale without buying from the US. I got this one within Europe and didn't end up paying any customs fees on him either so that was a bonus. And then I have Bayanos who is another one of my newer models. I've been into my Lonesome Glories at the minute and then Zenyatta, who was one of my first models that I ever got. So that's those. I really, really love this shelf as well. And then down a level, we have my Latigos. So over here is my Buckskin Bollywood Surprise, the Bay Tobiano Bollywood Surprise, and the Chestnut Vero Bollywood Surprise. I really adore these three models. My favourite model in my collection is probably my Buckskin. Um, I just find these models absolutely gorgeous. I do still need the Pintaloosa. We're trying to make that work. They're just a little expensive on eBay at the minute. And then on the end here is Checkers, who takes my conga up to four. 
I actually only bought checkers to qualify for the um, collector club appreciation and I am really glad that I got him, he's a lovely horse. And down a level we have my Nakotas, these three guys have stayed the same. We've got Isadora Cruz, we've got Chaveo and we've got the original Nakota. Hopefully we can make this conga grow as well. Um, the Appaloosa Pop the Cork and Canareta are the ones that I'd really love to have. So yeah. And then the last horses on these shelves we've got um, Phoenix, we've got Mariah's Boon and we have the 2007 Christmas horse. Um, I want to say it's called Winter Wonderland but I'm not actually sure. So these shelves in here are completely new for me and I'm really liking having some extra shelves. It gives me so much more space to have other things on my shelves like my Funko Pops and things like that. And it just allows me to space them out a bit more as to where I want models. So up here we've got um, <clears throat> Elvis Presley's Bear, new in box. I know I've been considering taking this model out of the box for about a year now. She's still in the box. We're still considering maybe taking her out. And then... Back here we have my box for Altenai, that's a spoiler. And then down a level we've got my CTF models and my Spirit Untamed. The ones on the left are from Series 2, the ones on the right are from Series 1. Uh, we'll quickly go over some of these. So these four here are my collector models. We've got the Morgan. Don't know what that second one is. Maybe a Belgium draft. Uh, Clydesdale and Shire and then here we have Vincenzo who is my WIA model um, by Bridget Aburl I think um, one of my newer models you've seen him in my spring haul he's really lovely I need to get him into some shows back here we have some Schleich donkeys we've got my Lipazanas in Andalusian Camarag um, Dartmoor Ponies, Fell Pony, these are two of my favourites, those are the Black Forest Mare and Stallion, uh, Old Clydesdale, Tennessee Walker, I think those are the two Hanoverians, you can see the dust on those, oh my gosh, not sure what that is. Then I have a custom there by Sunny Equine Art, who I'm an ambassador for, and then I have my Dartmoor Fall, a Donkey Fall, Black Forest Fall, and the Falabella family, and then here are two of my cows. And then on to the next shelf. On this side we have my glossy seven arts surprise horse who I actually got from Briarfest 2021. I was pulled for a glossy. That's amazing. I love him. One of my favourites in my collection. Then we've got Pepito Boonsmall who again I got him for the Collect Club Appreciation event and I'm really glad that I did get him. I wanted him for a while actually and I decided that I would wait on getting him until the event which was kind of risky because I thought that he might sell out then but he didn't and then I have California Chrome who looks really good in this lighting he's a really nice model actually him I really do like him then I have Sam who was one of the first models that I got when I started collecting again in 2020 and Sato and then on here I have my Peruvian Passos we've only got three of them I'm happy with this conger at the minute there isn't really any more that I need. So we have RCH Venturons, we've got Gran Cavallo from Briarfest 2021 and then we've got Manco Capake who like I say in every video I needed to get him because Hannah from Mid Model Horses has him. I literally say that all the time but he is so worth it. I'm gonna get him off because he is beautiful. Look at that colour. He is so nice. He's also in perfect condition and I got him for a really good price. And then this little drawing here came with a horse that I bought. I can't remember which horse that I bought off Erin, but I love this piece of art. So it sits on my shelves right here with Gran Cavallo, who I'm guessing it's of. I don't know. But yeah. And then here we've got Altenai from the Premier Club. Um, so yeah, I've got him and True North from the Premier Club and they are so beautiful. I've wanted him since he came out, but when he did come out, I was only just starting collecting and I couldn't really justify spending a lot of money on a model. He came up for a really, really good price. I'm not, 
I'll just tell you, I bought him for £180. Um, he's beautiful. So yeah, and he stands there with Uffington, who is leaning on the shelf, because like you already know from my other videos, Uffington does not like to stand. So he is leaning. Alton I stands perfectly though. He's really nice. And then down on this level are horses that I do not have congas of. So we have uh, Prince Jester, I think his name is, on the Missouri Foxtrotter mould. We have Cartelima Emma on the Fell Pony mould. Then I have this uh, Rocky Mountain horse. Little Ricky Rocker, who is adorable. Here I have Avatar's Jazzman, who I would really, really love to have a conga of Flash models. He's just so cute. It kind of looks like he's got an ear rub in this, but I swear he he doesn't. He's in perfect condition. Here we have the Let's Go Riding English horse. Um, I no longer have the rider or the tack or anything. I just have the model now. And Mistral Hudris. These were two models that I got for Christmas when I was younger. And I'm really glad that I decided to keep them in my collection because I do really love my them. My last traditional is this guy. This is the... Um, Collectible Appreciation Glossy Fighting Stallion that I got. Um, he's actually pending for sale at the minute. Um, I just, I didn't really like him. He wasn't, he wasn't one that I wanted and then he kind of grew on me. But now I'm like, I don't want to keep a horse that I kind of only half love. So the money that I make off him, I will probably buy another horse just because i'm addicted to buying horses so and yeah. then the bottom shelf is kind of hard to see because it's obviously at the bottom and it's a bit darker is all of my stable mates so we'll go through a few of them at the back here i have my unicorns so there's magnolias and arabians i'm sorry i don't know what they are exactly then i have my three andalusians two trotting frisians I have five of the Trotting Hanoverian Warm Bloods, I'm not sure. Across the front here we've got American Pharaoh, who's behind that acrylic stand. I've got some Trotting Warm Bloods again. This one on the left is the one that I painted in my Briarfest vlog. The others are all, all regular runs, I think. Here we've got three Rainers, two Loping Quarter Horses. Um, two Peruvian Passos. There I have Vallegro. Back here I have my Cantering Warm Blood Conga. Um, none of these are like limited or special or anything. I do have Twilight Terror on the back row there. Um, a couple of customs. The rest are all regular runs and from blind bags, things like that. Um, yeah, that's those. And then the main bulk of my stablemates are on this acrylic stand. Those are all kind of my favourites. So I have... Oh my gosh, where to even start? Right, up in the top corner, that is... I think he's called Jack or something. He is the spooky surprise. Then I've got lots and lots of unicorns. Amongst them on the top row, I have Seafoam, who I think is the third horse from the left. And... Big Dipper, the green one with the little stars, he apparently glows in the dark, mine doesn't really. I have Moonraker on this end, who is my favourite. And then the third one from this end is Ronin, who is from Briarfest. He's a glossy version of the one next to him. And yeah, um, that second one on this end, the grey, obviously Clyde still because we're looking at Clyde stills was actually my first ever briar that I got. Um, he was from like the card game. And then here I have my 70th anniversary blind bag Missouri Fox Trotter. This little guy who was sculpted by Sunny Creations. Uh, Percheron, more Clydesdales. Uh, I have Orkney there. The rest of them are um, customs or regular runs. Down a level, there we have Shalice, we've got Claws, we've got Kaleidoscope, I have some Indian Ponies. The first one, the Appaloosa, was a custom by Sunny Equine Art, she's stunning. And then I have the two 70th anniversary ones. Um, yeah, I really do like this mould. And then we've got two Fell Ponies, another, 
the black one is another custom by Sunny Equine Art, and then one from the 70th anniversary blind bags. Uh, three Shetlands and three little Highland ponies. So those are all of the models that I currently have in my collection. I also don't currently have anything on the way at the minute, so this is what we have for the time being. I'm really, really happy with my collection of model horses and how it's grown since I started collecting again in 2020. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Also shout out to my flamingo Stanley who I won in an arcade. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.